Okay, gazelle. So when I first made the gazelle and tested and took it, what I felt was that the essence is all about vulnerability. You know, the gazelle was out on the plains of Africa, on the savanna, wide open, and all around it are these big cats looking at it all day long for lunch. You got the cheetahs, you got the lions, you got the leopards. They're all just like staring at the, at the vulnerable gazelle all day long. They're just like lying in wait. And the gazelle's totally cool with it. Gazelle doesn't have a problem with being watched all day. Gazelle doesn't feel vulnerable. The gazelle is vulnerable, but the gazelle doesn't feel overwhelmed by that vulnerability. So gazelle is an essence for coming in contact with healthy vulnerability. Okay, and if we're going to be truly close with another, we have to be willing to make ourselves vulnerable. We have to show ourselves, our deepest selves, to others. And Gazelle can help people to learn that it's okay to be vulnerable, especially men. Okay? Women are conditioned that it's okay to show your feelings. Men are conditioned it's not. You're not a real man if you're vulnerable. Vulnerable equals weak. Vulnerable equals, you know, girly man. So, and that's, you know, that's totally wrong. That's one of the main problems with, in the whole world is how men are conditioned. It's such a violent thing to do to a boy to tell him that feeling is what girls do, or feeling isn't being tough and being manly. And I mean, you can trace basically all the problems of the world come down to, a lot of the problems of the world come down to that dangerous conditioning. So, gazelle can help men and women who need to embrace a healthy vulnerability. That's the key word, healthy vulnerability. A couple years ago, at uh, one point, I was just having a rough patch. A few days, just wasn't feeling good and I was doing fine with my self-care stuff and taking my essences, but it just was like off. And I couldn't really figure out why. So, of course, I went to my resident wizard, Gabriel, and I said, could you just look at my colors and see if there's something I need? And he immediately said, yes, you need gazelle. I'm like, gazelle? Well. And I thought and said, well, that's interesting. I don't feel particularly vulnerable right now, but you're always right, so I'll go take it. And I took the gazelle and I instantly felt better. Problem solved. And I was amazed because I couldn't figure out what it was about. And then I was talking with a friend a couple days later and explaining what had happened, and I got it. And it wasn't that I was feeling vulnerable at that time. It's that because with everything that was going on, just so much going on, family, personal, my own inner process, friends, business, so much going on, that I didn't feel emotionally safe to handle it all. Like my inner child wasn't feeling safe with what was going on. And that's where I learned the gazelle isn't just about vulnerability. It's all, and another thing and an extension of that is it's to help us feel safe, <coughs> emotionally safe. So gazelle is, has these two main applications of, of really supporting us in knowing it's okay to be vulnerable. It's important to be vulnerable. It's healthy to be vulnerable. It's not weak. It actually takes an incredible amount of strength to make our, to be vulnerable. That's the paradox of it all. Uh, and it's also got this great application of helping us to feel safe with what's going on emotionally.